Hey everyone, my name is Stacy, and in today's video I'd like to introduce you to the world of free online resources. Using those, you'll be able to learn programming from beginners to intermediate level. I want to mention this video was not sponsored by anyone, and I share just my personal opinion. So let's get started. So the first platform, which is one of my favorites, is FreeCodeCamp. FreeCodeCamp is a place where you can build projects and learn industry-recognized certifications. I think getting a certificate is nice because it gives you a sense of accomplishment. FreeCodeCamp is an excellent resource for self-learners. It compiles the often scattered information about coding into clear and valuable lessons. It's a great place to start your journey. The platform also encourages you to find your learning resources while simply pointing at what you should learn, which is an instrumental skill you'd need in case you'll want to become a programmer. The website approach is heavily project-based, which is motivating as it's gratifying. I did take JavaScript data structures course out there, and I felt I learned a lot. I remember that by the time I was doing it, it had more theory than practice, so I decided to do it together with another hands-on course. But I'm going to tell you about that course in just a moment. I also remember that once I wanted to brush up on Python and I came back to the platform. As you can see, this platform has many programming languages, many topics, and that's why it's my favorite. I know that learning to code might be challenging, that's why at the end of this video I've included some tips and tricks I used to stay on track. The next platform is SolarLearn. If you'd like to brush up on some key concepts and the basics of programming, this is an amazing place to start. In my opinion, it's great to use it alongside a more hands-on platform because of the way questions are structured. The questions are multi-choice, which means users do not need to write their solutions to answer the problems. This is my personal opinion about SolarLearn, so if you already tried it, please share your thoughts in the comments. I use it to repeat critical concepts as well as have some fun in the evening. I found it engaging and excellent to be able to study and code on the go. Next, I'd be lying if I say that I've never used YouTube. I still use it and from my experience, this is an excellent platform for learning. There are tons of great courses out there. You can learn things from beginner follow-along tutorials on different topics to more advanced concepts. I believe there is already enough material to create a programming bible. When I was learning web development, I found a completely free 25-hour course on YouTube. It was a well-structured course with two projects, JavaScript projects. I'm not sure if it's still available, but I remember that it wasn't the only great course. Sometimes people who sell courses on Udemy and Coursera publish them on YouTube as well. They publish not the complete course, but some, some parts, but it's still a great chance to get it for free and learn something new. One of my favorite courses in computer science that you can get for free is from Harvard. Yes, uh, this is true because you can get a free course from Harvard that is taught by Harvard professor. The CS50 course offered by Harvard on EDX is the best if you want to learn computer programming. This course was monumental in my understanding of computer science. I honestly can't recommend it enough. If you are serious, I think you should give it a go. This course is not a crash course. This means it gives you great foundations, but probably not something useful for your day-to-day -day life. That being said, I think learning the core concept of computer science will benefit any developer somehow. For example, you might be using a data structure, but you wouldn't know how it works under the hood. So when you want to be more like a pro, check this one. One critical thing when it comes to learning a new skill is to practice a lot. In my opinion, 20% of theory and 80% of practice is a great balance. In programming, it's important that you build projects. So sooner you start building your project, better it is. The strategy I recommend is first to follow tutorials until you feel comfortable enough to start building your first project. But here it's crucial to notice that probably you would never start feeling comfortable enough, right? It's not true. First of all, build a similar project to what you already created in a tutorial. 
For example, I remember that my first project was a simple elementary weather app. I was able to build it after I watched several tutorials about building games. Then I also watched a tutorial about weather app. So the idea is not to do it the same way as you see in the tutorial, but just try adding additional functionality to it. Making a switch from watching tutorials to project building is essential. There is a term tutorial help, which describes people stuck in tutorials and not writing a single line of code on their own because they feel scared. I know that programming is challenging for many people, but it's okay, it's normal, everybody was there. You are not alone. So just start building, start by small things, small functions, small methods, whatever you do, but just start thinking on your own. Also, you can become a good programmer only when you start building things by yourself and start thinking on your own. It's okay to look for advice and to get some ideas online, but it doesn't mean that you should limit yourself on that. So when you feel like you know enough, start creating. My next video will be about how to stay consistent, how to achieve your goals and how to be more productive. So if you would like to see it first, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon.